Hello friends. In this session, I will be talking about hardcore .NET fundamentals. The topic is ABC of .NET framework. Let's begin with A. A stands for assembly. To be specific, since we are talking about .NET, A means a .NET assembly. An assembly is basically considered as a unit of deployment in Microsoft.NET framework environment. Assembly is also known as a self-describing unit. An assembly is capable to describe on its own. We will look into the details of that a little later. Now, to be very specific, if you want to explain what an assembly is, what is the format, an assembly is basically any code in .NET which is compiled either into an EXE or into a DLL format is known as an assembly. These two formats, an EXE and DLL, are industry-wide used formats. So almost uh, whatever application you work upon, uh, the output for that most of the time is either an EXE or a DLL. Another feature of .NET Assembly is that it contains metadata and manifest. These two terms actually makes the assembly self-describing. If you see this third bullet point, I mentioned it is self-describing, but what brings self-describing feature to life is metadata and manifest. We will discover what is metadata and manifest a little later as well. Now, metadata is data about data. If you look at software engineering principles or structured system analysis and design, and these sort of, you know, uh, very hardcore computer science topics, uh, you must have heard or read about a term uh, known as data dictionary. Data dictionary says data about data. Uh, many companies, uh, many architects still follow um, data dictionary approach while developing their enterprise applications. Uh, what I'm trying to convey here is that if you know that from data dictionary, it is very easy for you to recall and remember what is metadata. Metadata is data about data. Next thing is manifest. Manifest is a little bit challenging to recall and remember what it is, but I will put it in a very simple terms for you. Metadata was data about data and manifest is data about assembly. Now, these two are a little bit tricky to understand and remember, but in this session, I'm not only going to talk about theoretical fundamentals, I'm also going to show you and walk you through all these things live inside Visual Studio 2012. So let's go and have a look over there. Now this is my Visual Studio 2012 environment and I'm inside a class library template. Now class library template basically is designed to produce a DLL. A DLL stands for dynamic link library. Now, let's say I choose here to say public int and I call it, for example, age. And I say public string name. To be, to be honest, if you look at this naming convention, the way I'm dealing here, uh, creating a public variable is not a recommended coding practice, but I'm putting it here public just for the, you know, uh, the, the demo purpose. So I would not encourage you to do these things. Uh, in programming, when we do such things, if you want to make a variable public in a class library, uh, rather than doing it public directly, we use properties for that. Uh, we will discover that later maybe in some object-oriented uh, sessions or something like that. Now, I'm also going to create some other thing and I say, for example, here I say a public string message and this will say this is a string and this will return me 
name variable what we are setting now this is how my class library looks like all right now let's say if you see if I want to show you that how assembly is produced the very first thing let's go to the open containing folder I am inside class library project on my computer system you go to bin you go to debug and if you see this folder is empty there is nothing as of now the reason is because I have not compiled my code yet so I'm going to build it and I say build solution if there are no errors this code will compile successfully which it did as you can see here build succeeded zero failed now if I go back to the same bin debug folder you see that at 3:47 p.m. which is Indian time on August 15th you see a class library one dot DLL has been produced and this is what my assembly is this is what you call an assembly an assembly is the unit of deployment it's a self-describing unit it contains metadata and manifest now the next question is how do I look at metadata and manifest to do that there is a tool available inside Microsoft.net to run that tool you need to go to your start all programs go to your Visual Studio section look at tools and then pick your command prompt you see these command prompts here so pick one of this command prompt now the difference between this command prompt I mean Visual Studio command prompt and a normal DOS command prompt is that Visual Studio command prompt automatically sets the path for you so it knows where all the tools are now the tool to look into the assembly is known as ILDESM I L D A S M ILDESM this is how we pronounce it the full form of ILDESM if you want to understand it a little bit more as its name shows over here it is I L D assembler I L stands for intermediate language and that is what you look into in the form of metadata so basically your metadata is in IL format which is not yet shown over here but we are going to see it and how do you see that you say file open look for the same path where my projects are so I'm going to look into the documents I am going to go into 2012 projects class library 1 class library 1 bin debug and class library 1 dot DLL this is what we just produced if you remember we had an int type of age we had a string variable called name and a string function called message which was returning name variable now if you click open here you will see that your ILDESM is loaded like that which is loading your DLL and it is showing you the manifest now before we look into manifest let's look into the metadata so I expand class library class library 1 actually has a class 1 in it so it shows class 1 if you had multiple classes inside a class library it will list out those classes as class 1 class 2 or whatever name you have given I expand it down the moment you expand it down it shows that you have one age variable which is actually public and if you recall we called it int but over here it is shown as int 32 the reason for that in 32 is because we have something called CTS common type system uh, I will talk about that in a different session for now you can just remember or recall uh, for yourself if you know that an int is internally translated as int 32 so overall idea is that all the information you see over here is basically your metadata which you can see in proper English format and this language which you are seeing right now is basically IL is intermediate language and these are IL codes these are intermediate language instructions which is automatically generated by your language compiler before your DLL is produced so that is about your uh, metadata let's look back on the manifest thing you do not need to reload it 
Now, if you click on the manifest, manifest was data about assembly. Now, if you look at this whole information, it is showing that what version of MS Core Lib is being used. MS Core Lib is basically the house of your .NET uh, common language runtime library, which is known as BCL, which we will discover a little later. It shows that the module you created is class library 1.dll. Then it shows a little bit, you know, the version is 1.1 of your class library, which you just created. And what type of, you know, runtime libraries or assemblies it has been loading, all that information is visible over here. So all that thing goes here, and this is what your manifest is. Now, to be a successful programmer, I have never seen anybody who is really coming to ILDESM and looking into these things. Uh, you don't really need it. It's totally irrelevant. It's, it doesn't help or make you productive to look into these these type of information. You certainly don't need it. But if you know these things, uh, you stand out of the crowd and you know a little bit better and you know what goes inside .NET Framework. So that is the beauty of knowing these things. So we discovered A, which is about uh, assembly.